Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they are let out there by their mobile quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback... And right off the bat, look at him lay out there and make the grab. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Second and seven. That one complete out to Dotson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now it's third and four. But well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. From the gun on third down, Daniels. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here just past the 25. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And they'll begin by running the option. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. 
They'll get this up to the 34 and a good lane opening up right away for it. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Play action. Here's Hurts. And this is caught. Devontae Smith, 31 yards. And the Eagles use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in. Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking for Dotson and he's got him. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Eckler now between the tackles. Not a whole lot of room to run. Gets it to the 35 after showcasing the great move. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop him. We had a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And, yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defenses want to see how you're going to handle it or if it forces you into making bad decisions. That's their goal. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Hurt. 
Hurts. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, Daniels. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Second and 10. Back to throw, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. To throw on third down, Daniels. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. 27 yards. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks. But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. McManus's point after is good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Up the middle with Barkley, and that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other. 
and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Hurts sets up to throw it. Over the middle, he's got Parker. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Barkley inside handoff. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. From the 41, here's a second and five. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's Hertz to throw. Pass taken in by his good tight end. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 23. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him picking up the first down. But first down, Hurts. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Okay, take us to school here, Charles, on a play like that. Pretty successful RPO. What's the quarterback looking at? Basics, he's looking at the defensive end or the outside linebacker. If that player crashes down to take the running back, quarterback pulls it, runs to the outside end. Some teams, though, will read different players depending on defenses, but basically it's that outside player. Now, able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Another try for Barkley. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put some. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley from a yard out. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Fourth and goal, the defense needed one more stand. They couldn't get it. I just wonder if they were thinking heavy run here in that situation instead of being able to play the pass. And they were beaten on that possession. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one, a 
13 play drive in total. And it's capped off by a receiving touchdown from Saquon Barkley. To the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Well, here we go on the next drive for Washington. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? They started on the ground with Eckler to about the 23. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Off play action, Daniels. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 27 yards there, a first down. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Here now, second and four. Up the middle with Eckler. There he goes, right side. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Washington. 44 yards for Austin Eckler. And the Commanders are an extra point away from drawing level. A pretty well-executed run. They were telling us yesterday, Charles, they were hoping to get everybody in sync, the line, the backs, and everybody looked in sync on that play. They were in sync, and the field tilted. And that's where we get the term running downhill because... When you've got that kind of momentum and everyone's doing it properly, as you just described, it does feel like they are coming from downhill to you as a defender, and that is really hard to stop. Extra point from McManus is good, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. On first and 10, it's Hurts. To the right side, he's got Parker. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a second and ten. Throwing his hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep here, Jamison Crowder. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half, and with 40 seconds to go, that's, you'd think, time enough to try to mount a drive should they decide to do so. On first and 10, Daniels. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, 
With his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Second down, here's Hurts. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. They'll set up a throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. Here's second and ten. They go play action with Hertz. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. They'll see about converting this third and eight. They'll look to throw. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble at six, but now it's fourth. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine now from the 21. It's Eckler again. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing again, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch five yards now it's third and five that's a staple of this offense drag route to the tight end yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch but still an effective gain nonetheless here is third and five looking to throw daniels i uh, had a man open but he missed him and it's incomplete one first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Tressway now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. 
We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and ten at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, here's Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. They'll come up now third and nine. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz out to his left. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's a give to Barkley, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle, but give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. After the incompletion here now, third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
104 yards on the ground for Eckler here, and that's a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out left to Dotson. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards, the pickup, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. A lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On second down, Eckler. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Running on first down, Eckler. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Let's go, man. Two yards to go, second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Operating from the gun. Daniels. Crowder's got it over the middle. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the Commanders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll look to throw again. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Austin Eckler, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Commanders have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. 
Obviously a huge touchdown for their team, but a big touchdown for a rookie quarterback here to be able to break the tie in the fourth quarter. And he just shook off all the pressure, too, because when you think about it, tie ball game, rookie quarterback, most of them are thinking, don't make a mistake. Instead, this young man just said, I'll make a play. McManus's point after is good, and the lead is now 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Hurts sets up to throw it. His throw incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Hertz to throw. Throwing the out route, he's got Parker. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Well, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Bobby Wagner, multiple times an all pro, in there to drop him for a loss. I know nowadays they give a lot of guys different things when they get to the sidelines after creating a big play, but just throw a cape on this guy because he single-handedly ended multiple drives. Interception earlier, sack on third down. Really should have a better game plan installed for how to contain him because he's affecting this game in so many ways. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return, and it will be Washington football now with a first and ten. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Jahan Dotson was the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Daniels. On the catch, it's Crowder. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Daniels. And he's going to have a commander's first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. 
tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 139 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Once more, here's Eckler. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This is a counter play, Eckler, and he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation, and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Philly.